Hey guys, Justin back with an engineer's perspective and feeling a little cloudy minded, like a lot of stuff's going on. So I'm just kind of taking a break here, getting the Zen mode, doing some sharpening. And I figured I might as well capture that on camera while I'm doing it and have a little discussion with you guys. Uh, first off, the knife is a Miyabi Mizu in SG2. Uh, this one came to me all catawampus, so that's why this grind looks so goofy because I've had to do quite a bit of work on it and I was too lazy to make it look pretty. Um, the edge on here is probably, oh geez, I don't know, a month old. And uh, I've stropped it a couple times and I was just noticing that there's actually quite a few very minor chips. I first noticed there's one right by in the middle of my finger there. And then if I run it over my fingernail, there, 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 there-ish. So they're pretty hard to feel. They're very micro chippy. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't treat this as fragilely as I do like my Takamura, but this much more fragile than German knives, but it will chip a little bit. It, I, I can get microchips. So I'm probably gonna shoot for slightly thicker geometry on this. And uh, normally for SG2, a lot of stainless steels. I like that 1000 grit edge. I get off the Nano Hone, which is taking a quick soak over here. But after I saw that I had those chips, I knew I'm gonna to wanna to remove those and I knew I wanted to go to a little bit of a more obtuse angle. So I busted out this 800 grit King Neo here. And this thing, this thing rips. You know, this thing can move some steel for an 800 grit stone. So I'm gonna start on this and I'm still gonna finish on the Nano Hone. And the reason for that is that because this 800 grit stone, it leaves a really nice finish uh, because you know 800 isn't that coarse and then just the stone itself so it leaves a good finish but it is soft and aggressive so it can be a little tricky to deburr on it so that's why I like that thousand grit stone because it's easier to deburr it on and I like that little bit of extra polish with but it still is quite um, gravy I guess I find that I get a little over polished when I go to the 5k uh, shaft and I've got so yeah that's kind of that discussion i like 1k finishes on my german knives i don't really care on my german knives as much but definitely on like my vg10 and my sg2 so let's let's see where this is at just kind of feeling it because it's at about 11 or 12 and i'm just going to go up to maybe 14 to 15 ish and that looks to be about right there is my guess. Feels about right. Oop, that was a little high. There we go. Let's just do a little bit of work. I should pretty much instantaneously raise a burr. Which I have done. Because I'm starting on the very edgy edge. And I'm just trying to see... What it looks like. See, right now it looks like a micro bevel on there. So I gotta keep going to work that up a little bit. Just trying to focus on keeping that angle. It, I, it's a little bit trickier when you're changing angles because you just gotta kinda guess where you want it to be and then stick to it and just pay attention to what you're doing as you go. Whereas if you're repeating an angle, then, uh, then uh, you know, you're sticking to it. It's really easy to stay on it and you can kind of feel, you know, where you're on the top of the edge versus the edge of the edge and keep it in there. But I've got a very large burr formed. I'm gonna do one more go on it. just to make sure I remove those scratches. 
Now we'll switch to the other side. I'll form a burr on this side. Let's take a look at what I've done. Sorry, you can't even see me. You can't even see me doing something out there. So I'm looking at the edge and what was just barely a micro bevel at the very edge has grown up. So I've pretty well reprofiled the one side a degree or two. Now we're gonna switch to the other side. It's going a little bit thicker to avoid those chips. And this is how you optimize your edge when you're sharpening. If, you're, if you've are you never, ever, ever chipped or rolled your knife, you gotta go thinner, man. You're leaving performance on the table. Because everybody uses their knife different. Everybody cuts different stuff. And so the, and every knife has different steel with a different heat treatment. So, and a different shape. So the, the perfect angle for that is an amalgamation of all of those factors. So you can't just prescribe a, a yep, that's the right thing to do. I'm just, I'm checking this edge. Like I was saying, this thing was all sorts of screwed up from the factory. So this, this side is a lot thinner looking than this side, just because basically I fixed this side completely once and I didn't fix this side completely because I, I was just like, I just don't have the time to do it. I put like three hours into fixing it. And I've spent some time thinning this side out a little bit, but I haven't come back to it yet to completely do it. But I gotta work on this heel a teeny bit on this side. really big burr bigger than I would probably normally than I would normally form if I was just touching it up as if you form a big burr you got to remove a big burr and that just sucks so I'm just gonna do a couple of these long strokes to reduce it now so I formed it I'm kind of refining reducing just because I want to check on those chips. But it's kind of hard to do when you've got a big old burr. Just trying to... Okay. Now that burr is quite a bit reduced. 100% still there. Let's just check out that spot where I did see the chip. It's not there anymore. Let's see if I can feel with my nail. Yeah, it's impossible to do. Yeah, I can't really feel much. I think I got them out. They were pretty small. So. That was the 800. I just reformed that apex, took out those chips. Just washing off the knife. Just gonna stick this stone up here, I guess. Let me, let me dry this off here. That way the stone holder won't slip around. All right, this nano hole has been soaking for about 10 or 15 minutes. It seems to benefit just from a couple minutes soak at least. And I'm just gonna do
some light passes here. I'm really trying to feel for the edge. Got a little bit of schmutz on here. Definitely got it. Okay, so I've just kind of flipped the burr to both sides, and now that was me refining the burr. And now I'm not sure why I started doing those strokes. I'm just gonna do some of these scratch aligning strokes now. So burrs on that side. Let's align the scratches some more. Yeah, I just find that 800 grit edge to be a little coarser than I like for a kitchen knife. And if you use light pressure on this thousand, is you get a nice, a nice uh, refined edge on this guy. So that's what I'm shooting for. Just kind of light pressure, reducing that burr, trying to flip it each time. It's good to check if you flipped it. Yep, we're doing pretty good here. I'm personally a big believer for reducing strokes is a strop and a pull because the strops go so slow. And if you've got a big burr and or temperamental steel, you will spend all dang day doing stropping strokes and it's just sucks it's a lot faster with a push and a pull but you, i typically don't get all the way where i want it to be doing that exclusively but the burr feels really small yeah it's quite small quite refined i'm gonna do some stropping strokes to finish off my uh, weakening of it. So what do I say? I say form, reduce, or form, refine, reduce, remove. This being the reducing. I would not put Miyabi's SG2 under that temperamental burr category. The harder steel is, tends to make it easier to remove that burr within reason. High amounts of retained austenite, which can happen at an overly high hardness steel, can cause issues. At this point, it should be very hair shaving and catching on your fingernail. It's a little bit, it's not 100% to where I like it to be, but we're gonna, let's dry this baby off and see. It's been a while since I've sharpened, actually. I took kind of a little bit of a break. Everything was sharp and I just kind of used it for a while. Okay. So three finger test. Oh, that feels pretty burry. I mean, it's, it's refined, but very aggressive. And I know that that level of aggression off of this stone means it's got a burr. Oh, that is just hair popping sharp. Can you? I mean, that is with ease 
shaving hair. I don't know if you can see the hairs on there. So I feel pretty confident with this steel to go straight to the strop now. That was, we reduced it quite a bit. And uh, normally I like to get it to the point where it'll catch on my nail easily, which this is doing almost like I want it to. And then also shaving hair. And from that, let's remove it. And that is what I'm gonna do on the strop. I'm gonna move this stone a little bit further. Yeah, I was gonna talk about how to select your stone progression in this video, but it's this is just not a very good example of that. You know, I didn't wanna I used the, the Neo 800 for two reasons, for the chip removal. For one, is I'm very, 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 very comfortable with that stone, and I know what it feels like, what it does, how long it takes to do it. And so, in removing the chips, I didn't wanna go crazy with it. So I could have used my 600 grit stone to, to remove the chips quicker, but there were small chips and uh, I, I wanted to get a pretty casual result. You know, I didn't want to go nuts. So that's why I chose the 800. And then I just normally sharpen this on the 1000 because it's the, the edge I like on SG2. This feels like I'm going maybe a little crazy on this. I wasn't really counting, I was just talking. Can't feel the burr. Yeah, I think we got it. That is the the nail grab and sharp. It could already shave here, but now it do it does it comfortably and not grabbly. Let me just take a look at it under the light here. Make sure I've got a clean apex. It feels like I do. And it looks like I do. I do as well. It's easy to get tricked with having a tiny bit of burr left on there. And uh, your edge retention will suffer greatly for that. So I recommend to have making a thorough check. But there you go. I removed some chips from the... Miyabi SG2, and I reprofiled it from what was probably about 11 degrees to what I'm guessing is in the neighborhood of 14 to 15 degrees per side. And then uh, I finished it on the 1000 grit nano hone. And this is one micron um, diamond emulsion, gunny, gunny juice, one, but it's one micron diamond on uh, leather there. And uh, now she's smoking hot. That's not very impressive looking, is it? That was probably more impressive looking. Yeah, plenty sharp. Just on my hair, oh yeah. That's grabbing the hairs on my head. So there you go, have a good one guys, bye.